Question 9. Here is a solid prism. It's not drawn accurately, and we have to work out the volume of the prism. Now the front of your exam paper will give you this reminder that the volume of a prism is calculated by finding the area of a cross section, so in this case would be this compound rectangle at the front of the shape, multiplied by its length. So we're going to work out the area of this shape at the front, and then multiply it by 20. To help with that, I'm going to draw out this shape again, just so I'm only dealing with the area. It doesn't have to be accurate, it's just a sketch to help with the calculations. Now some of the measurements we are told on here, and that is that the top is 5 centimetres, the left hand side is 7, the right hand side here is 4 centimetres and the total distance across the bottom is 11. To work out the area of a compound shape like this, which is made from two or more shapes put together, we're going to split this into two different rectangles. My personal preference is to always split straight down. You can split in any way that you're more comfortable with, but as long as we realise that we are calculating the area of two different rectangles. On the left, I'm going to call this rectangle A, and I'm going to call this one rectangle B. So the area of rectangle A is found by multiplying the height and the width. So in this case, 7 times 5, which is 35 centimetres squared. To work out the area of rectangle B, however, we need to know how wide it is. We're told that the whole shape is 11 centimetres across, and we already know that this left part is 5, so the missing part here for the width of rectangle B is going to be 6 centimetres, because that would make the whole shape add up to 11. So to find the area of rectangle B is going to be 6 multiplied by 4 which is 24 centimetres squared. So our total cross-sectional area is just those two values added together. 35 add 24, which gives us a cross-sectional area of 59 centimetres squared. To find the volume, we have to multiply this value by the length or the depth of the prism. So the volume of this shape can be found by multiplying 59 by 20. 59 multiplied by 20 gives us a volume of 1180 centimeters cubed.